Mary J. Blige is known by many, many titles. Grammy winner, <laughs> Emmy winner, Oscar nominee, fashion icon, music, music legend, and just an all-around awesome human being, yeah. really. Yes, but her latest project is simply all about Mary. We're talking about her new children's book. It is a beautiful book about hope. It's inspired by her own childhood. It's called Mary can. Mary can. Mary can. <laughs> yeah, Mary this, did. This, 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 uh, here, it's here. actually not inspired from my childhood. It's inspired yeah. from my grown-up life. Grown-up grown life. life. Because yeah. as a child, you didn't feel... As a child, I was... I didn't, I didn't care what people said, and my mother was not a person that was um, held back by what people thought or told her she couldn't do. And my grandma, they were very courageous people. So when you saw but, them, did you emulate? Were you like, wow, if they can, I can? Is that kind of what you thought? I did until I became a teenager. Yeah. yeah. And I became a teenager and things got really rough. And then I became a grown-up and things got even worse. Yeah. So when they got worse, you know, I was being bombarded by people that was very, they were very, very negative to my life. You can't, mm -hmm. you won't, you, you know, you're this, you're ugly. I mean, I was in a relationship that said, you're, you know... You're not this. You're not that. You can't. You're, you're not attractive. This person's better looking. This person's more talented. This, I mean, I was going through... Can I say the word? Yeah, hell. hell. So I, when, I, when I got out of that situation, you know, the skies opened up. Everything was beautiful for me. And this children's book came out of that bad situation. How bad did yeah. it have to get for you to say enough? Like, because we, it, you know, when change happens so gradually, when someone speaks badly to you for a minute, mm -hmm. you think it's, and then they apologize. And then, then later it's worse and worse and worse. And suddenly you look at yourself and say, like, how did I get here but in, know, in this? You know, I actually thought, I actually started to believe it. Because when you love someone and you don't love yourself, you know, that's what, what, what happens. You, you, you stay longer. You know, yeah. and I stayed a very, very long time. And then one day um, I just got tired of like hating myself and feeling that feeling. And I was watching. I was bringing this up. I, I was searching for a way to, to heal and not be insecure and not go through all these things that I was going through. And um, T.D. Jakes, yeah. like I was saying, he, he said he said what you think about you and say about you and believe about you is more effective and important than anyone than what anyone can say about you. And when I when I tell you that thing clicked, like it, it just really, really clicked for me. Mm. And that's where how I began to move out of the relationship and move out of that dark place because I began to speak the words, you know, like my, the, the title of my album, Good Morning Gorgeous, yeah, Good Morning good Mary, Good Morning Gorgeous, Good Morning I Love You, Good Morning I Need You, Good Morning You're Beautiful, Good Morning You're a Masterpiece. <laughs> you know, whatever God says about you, whatever you believe about you, is, you know, is, is what's going to, what you're going to have. Yeah. So I started speaking positive words over my life and boom. Yeah. You know, like everything. Like, you know, good morning. Good you're morning. a masterpiece. You're yeah. a masterpiece. That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think people watching mm -hmm. will think, how could this be possible? You're obviously so beautiful. Yeah. You are a talent yeah. beyond, beyond. You yeah. won all these awards yeah. and yet you didn't see that in yourself yeah. no. right away. No. What are some pra practical things women yeah. can do yeah. if they're struggling? Yeah. Just speak something so this is what I did. I never thought I was gorgeous ever in my life. Mm -hmm. So I had to speak something that was, that I didn't believe. Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. believe I was gorgeous. So I started saying, good morning, gorgeous. Yeah. And, and really just saying it, no matter how bad I didn't believe it or how bad it hurt to say it, I said it and I kept saying it. And after a while, it began to manifest in my heart. Yeah. And then it man began to manifest outside my body and I began to actually see it. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt it like, you know, I'm a beautiful person. My, my heart is gorgeous. I'm a giver. I'm a lover. You know, I'm a nurturer. I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. <laughs> and then I began to see it outside. So you just, just what you think about you, that's, you have to, you have to keep you together yeah. because no one, you can't depend on your husband. You can't depend on your boyfriend. Yeah. And I'm just saying this out of experience. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You can't depend on your family to say you're great. You got, you have to figure out a way to know you're great. Yeah. And did you think you always, what I was thinking is you were raised by two women who told you you were great. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in the deep in your belly, you knew it, even though this yeah. person popped in and yeah. tried to rob you of that. It was, oh, it may have been dormant, but it was yeah. always in there somewhere. And, and I woke it up when yeah. I began yes. to speak to it. Yeah. You yeah. know, because my mom was always a beautiful, confident, strong woman, never seen her cry, never seen her complain, always, you know, I'm so fly, oh. I'm so fine. You know, this, is, <laughs> this has been her all our lives. So she was not that. But in the environment we lived in, a lot of women were, were very depressed yeah. and very yeah. down on themselves. And I think I probably took 
a lot, you know, of that mm -hmm. with me. And then when I became a teenager, it, it got worse. Yeah. Then when I got married, yeah. it, it, you know, whatever darkness or, you know, negativity I had for myself was being nurtured by a negative person saying, you can't, you won't, this, 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 this. And, and, you know... You know how to happen. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, you said, we, we, we talk about you a lot mm -hmm. on the show because yeah. we admire you so much. And you said you're in the phase of loving you mm -hmm. and that you even take yourself out on dates. I do. What do, you do? What? Tell us about I, a we date. We want to go on a date with you. So let me tell you about a date. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> a date with Mary. Wait a, a minute. Date with Mary. I want to hear. I mean, the, the dates with Mary are very intimate. <laughs> Oh, those kind of dates. We, we, no, no. we go to dinner. Ooh. We go to dinner. Yeah. We go to dinner. We'll watch a movie. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just drink some wine. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just, By the way, we'll just chill, give ourselves a hug, you know? <laughs> what do y'all <laughs> order? What do y'all order? Sometimes we'll go to Nobu. Ooh. Oh, Sometimes, I love it. I love Nobu. Oh. That car. Oh, that black card is the yeah. best. That's my that's my girlfriend's spot though. When I go what, yeah, with all my girls. girlfriends, we go there. But who's your bestie? Who's your number? Who's your? I have a lot of. I have, I have a, a tribe. I have yeah, a team tribe. of amazing. I mean, amazing women yeah. surrounding me that I absolutely love. Yeah, yeah. We got more to talk about. Yeah. Okay, again, the book right here is called Mary Can. That's an incredible project. You have other stuff you're working on. We're going to talk more about that, including her new talk show coming up right after this. <laughs> We are back with the incredible Mary J. Blige, who has a new children's book out. It's called Mary Can. She's also starring in season three of Power Book 2, Ghost, on Stars. Let's take a look. I need more. Mrs. Tejada, Monet. Mrs. Tejada works. Okay, Mrs. Tejada. <clears throat> That's the NYPD's entire file on the case. There's nothing more to get. Whoever did this is either meticulous or chaotic enough to have New York's finest scratch in their head. Well, Davis, it's time you start earning your damn money. Someone killed my son and ain't nobody gonna rest until I find out who. Okay, Whoa. Monet. Okay, Monet. Uh, <laughs> our book two, Ghost. I mean... First of all, it's so interesting and wonderful to watch you act. I know you've yeah. acted, obviously, multiple times. Was this something that you've always sort of wanted to do? Was it something you studied and you said, I want to try that? Or did it just kind of come? What, acting? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, when I was in um, elementary school, um, my music teacher, Miss Sweeney, she was putting this play together, this Christmas play. And she put me in the Christmas play to sing and to act. And I did really well. The, the chatter around school was that Mary, Mary can act. So it was in my heart to do it. But then again, I, got, I became a teenager. The dream yeah. left my head. Yeah. And then um, it came back to me when I uh, got in the music business. Mm -hmm. And so it came back to me uh, through the, my first gig was the Jamie Foxx show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I played Ola May, whatever mm -hmm. her name was. <laughs> so <that> was <laughs> but I had to play a singer. So, you know, it, it came back to me like that. And then, I began, and then people began to call. So I said, oh, well, maybe I really can do this. Yeah, you really yeah. can do wow. it. Mary really can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now you have a new talk show, mm -hmm. which we're really, really into because it's it's super fresh. Uh -huh. It's super intimate. Y'all mm -hmm. talk about everything. Yeah. T tell, tell us how it came about. Well, um, the wind down was an idea I had when uh, the first quarantine yeah. of the pandemic happened. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering how, how everybody was feeling and, you know, how I can reach out to some, someone. I said, if I could reach out to anyone right now, I would let them know I'm human mm -hmm. and let them know I'm in it with them. Mm -hmm. And I'll drink some wine with them. And it's because I was, way, it's I was drinking wine every it's day. It's your wine, too, because I was drinking it. <laughs> By the way, your wine your is Your wine. She gave Thank us you. her wine yes. when she was on the show, yeah. and I yeah. feel like that got me yeah. through the pandemic. <laughs> Thank it, you. it got me through, too. <laughs> so the first quarantine, um, I um, released my wine, uh, Sun mm. Goddess, yeah. on uh, wine.com. Mm -hmm. And th that's when everybody was drinking. It went so <laughs> It was sold Back out. <laughs> it was sold out. And I was drinking every day, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to reach out to people and, and let them know I was human and, and see how they were feeling. So that's where the, the, the idea for the wind yeah. down came from, just, uh -huh. just to sk speak candidly and have my friends speak candidly about how they're feeling, like my celebrity friends. Yeah. Speak to other people, like, you know, I don't I hate to say normal, regular people. Yeah. But people in the world mm -hmm. that were going through all the same things. So these will be like kind of intimate conversations and just that kind of thing? Yeah, intimate, but, you know, questions that we go over with... With, with everyone, them. so everybody's protected, and you are saying what you want to say. We're not setting you up yeah, totally. to be exposed. You can expose yourself if you want. I don't. That's 
Did I don't you, do that. Were you always open about your wounds? Like, I feel like mostly when you sit down here, you're not shy or afraid mm -hmm. to talk. Some people don't like to talk about their wounds. They mm -hmm. just feel like it makes them appear weak mm -hmm. or something. I mean, I was not always open, but um, when I did my sophomore album, My mm -hmm. Life, that's when I began to speak because yeah. I was in so much pain yeah. that I had to put it somewhere. Yeah. And then when I put it out, the music out, four, mi four million people were my fans now responded and said, Mary, we're feeling it too. Oh. So right there, I said, okay, I got a responsibility. And, and the responsibility is to share as much as I can without being naked. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's a good, you have that's to keep a good a way. Little bit yeah. I always have to keep my bra and my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to keep underwear. No, I have to keep those. I got to keep them. <laughs> it's a long story, Mary. We'll tell you another time. Okay, wait. Everybody is so excited yeah. because you have a festival. Yes. yes. Strength of the Woman Festival. Yes. It's in Atlanta in May. What can people expect? So this is our second annual Strength of a Woman mm -hmm. Festival. It's huge. Um, it's entertainment. It's um, panels with amazing um, women yeah. that have stories. Like, you guys can come and speak if oh. you want to. Okay. It's, it's huge. We have, I mean, the lineup this year is crazy. We have Lauren Hill. We have uh, Method Man. We yeah. have myself, yeah. Jodeci. Like, we, people wow. have seen Jodeci. So it's, it's a big, big deal in Atlanta. And um, there's um, different, there's comedy. There's a comedy show uh, here, you know, like different buildings have different things yeah. happening. You, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's it sounds it's, it's, awesome. It's, it's, it's major. Inspiring, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just like you. If we yeah, come, can you. we go to Nobu afterwards? <laughs> well, they, you a they don't have a Nobu out there, but they have this other spot that's really good. Okay, can what we go? What is it called? You're... I forgot. Okay. <laughs> But we'll remember let's, later. Let's try no. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. Try okay. okay. We'd love yeah. to. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. You're welcome. We adore oh, you. You're welcome. You can find Mary Can on today.com slash books. And you can catch new episodes of Power Book 2 Ghost Fridays on Stars. The girls will love it. Your it's sons so will love good. it. It's so good. By love the way, it. it's kid approved. Yeah. My kids read yeah. it last night. Yes. Two thumbs up. <laughs>